This video overviews CHI 2021 paper called It's Complicated, Negotiating Accessibility and Misrepresentation in Image Descriptions of Race, Gender, and Disability. I'm your narrator, Cynthia Bennett, and my co-authors included Cole Gleason, Morgan Schuerman, Jeffrey Bigham, An Hong Guo, and Alexandra To. Web accessibility best practices prescribe that images include text descriptions for blind people who cannot see them, but most images aren't described. In 2019, less than 1% of tweeted images had alt text. As such, AI has been explored as a method for scaling the number of image descriptions online. But the method of scaling up image descriptions that we discuss in this paper, AI, is known to be biased. Race and gender are often narrowly classified and, for example, leave out non-binary people altogether. Blind people may benefit from the scaling up of image descriptions through methods such as AI, but blind people who are also Black, Indigenous, people of color, non-binary, and transgender are among those most negatively impacted by AI. So we interviewed a group at the nexus of these identities to inquire how to respectfully describe appearance. We asked them about their image posting and browsing behavior on social media and to share how they describe their race, gender, and disabilities. We asked them to share any experiences they had being misrepresented in real life and through image descriptions. We asked their preferred language if an image describer knows them and if an image describer is a stranger. And we inquired their preferences and concerns around AI describing appearance. Interviewees didn't want to read appearance in image descriptions all the time, but they shared some contexts in which the information would be quite useful. These included encountering unknown people for the first time, in discussions about identity, to read a room and find community, or to know when they should code switch to fit in, to understand representation in the media, and when they sought specific perspectives like books by authors with particular identities. Participants also shared preferences for how they should be described. Whenever possible, an image describer should ask the photographee. When identity is known, this caption could read, a black, disabled, non-binary person with a filtering face mask walks down a neighborhood street with one hand in their pocket and the other hand on their cane. They have a short mohawk and are wearing a jacket, shorts, tennis shoes, and glasses. But if we don't know identity, participants advocated that we describe appearance instead. In this caption, we would replace the identity phrase with an appearance phrase, such as a person with darker skin. Participants preferred that AI descriptions be opt-in and editable because they recognized that incorrect ones could be harmful. Participants had different thoughts on whether AI describing appearance was ethical. Some agreed with Parker, a white trans man who said, I favor something rather than nothing, even if some of these descriptions are wrong. Image descriptions are so rare that these participants were willing to accept the trade-off. Others, like Tracy, a white trans feminine person, were concerned that misrepresentation would negatively impact people like them. Tracy speculated, it's just one more microaggression that I would have to put up with from technology that's supposed to help. I would hate it if every time I uploaded a photo, I'd have to change it so it wouldn't say age, misgender. These participants were concerned that the harm of misrepresentation negated the benefits of more detailed access. Finally, some participants found AI describing appearance inappropriate because of how it would perpetuate existing harm. Yvonne, a black cis woman, explained, The people that are impacted are people that are often already bearing the brunt of so much other stuff such as anti-Black messaging on social media. That would just be compounded if AI is giving me biased information. There are many open questions, but some of our recommendations include disambiguate appearance from interpretation in HCI research. Second, as critical race scholars have already called for, intentionally recruit a diversity of people, particularly those most negatively impacted by your research topic, and engage them on potential benefits and harms. And finally, conduct intersectional ethical review of accessibility research. Remember, only you can represent yourself. So describe your photos. You can find me on Twitter at CLB5590 and download our paper from tinyurl.com slash chi2021 image descriptions.